Hello and welcome to another episode of Conan O'Brien Needs a Friend. I do have some friends, but you can always use a few more. Who are these friends? The ones that I really have? Let's not get into yeah. that. Don't dig too deep. <laughs> I don't know. People, people who have friends don't go like, oh, I have a lot of friends. I do. Trust I do, do have what? Friends. I have them. <laughs> does that give away the fact that I really don't have real friends? The fact that I yes, constantly- only does that. I have friends. You don't think I have friends? I have lots of friends. <laughs> Sir- you got very defensive. Sir, just yeah. pay for the unleaded gas and go. But I do have friends. <laughs> of course I just put the nozzle back and uh And I don't use unleaded, I use premium. Well you didn't. And order I have that. friends. Ask them. Okay, sir, who are your friends? I gotta go. Um <laughs> that's that's also the voice I use when I'm not broadcasting. When I'm not on television or I'm not doing a podcast or some kind of personal appearance. This is how I really talk. <laughs> Which is always a huge shock. People on the street are always saying, hey, are you Conor Bryan? That's right. <laughs> Bingo, you got it right on the nose. Oh, oh, and I go, oh, sorry, hold on a second. Would this be better for you? Yeah, what was that other voice? Oh, that's how I really talk. <laughs> well, gotta go. And then I get on a unicycle. And I have a little horn that goes, bye bye, ta ta. And I uh, drive away. Little window into my life. Some people say, pretty big window. Comedians don't really open up, but I just did. I just made myself very vulnerable with that story and told yeah. you about the real me. And, um, yeah. Well, I really brought them the tone down. Yeah. I'm sure there are people that were listening to the podcast that when I was doing that bit where I used that voice, turn down their, you know, whether it's their phone or whatever they're listening to this on, their computer. <laughs> you couldn't think yeah. of anything. Other I know you than wanted to phone. say radio so bad. <laughs> or the television. I feel like he really wanted to say television. I did want to say television. <laughs> and I did want to say radio. I did. But now um, you've busted me again because uh, that's also true. I don't have friends and I really do wish that everybody listened to this on a mahogany curved top radio. <laughs> <laughs> and then, and then the, just before I came on, the announcer said, well, that does it for Little Orphan Annie today. <laughs> and remember, use Crisco when you're doing your deep frying. We'll have a fireside chat with President Franklin Roosevelt in about half an hour. But until then... <laughs> Conan O'Brien is coming to us from his broadcast booth in Los Angeles, Conan. <laughs> and that people were huddled around and they were wearing farmer's bib overalls because they had been working in the fields all day, trying to avoid the dust from the dust bowl and just, just hovered around listening to Conan's soothing tones. But no, <laughs> that's not the world I live in. I live in a world of various downloads. <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't even get ad that out. <laughs> dynamic ad insertions. I don't even know when. They'll say that Conan, it's a dynamic ad insertion. And I'll say, like, what? What do you mean? It's an ad that comes on when the podcast airs. The podcast doesn't air. The podcast exists in the cloud. It is, it's, it's meta. It's everywhere all the time. And you access no. it. What? No, what? It's not well, what meta. Is it? well, I, do you I know what know. the, how do I explain what the podcast is to my parents? They don't know. They don't listen to it. My brother Neil won't listen to it because it doesn't happen on television or the radio. And I'll say, it's hosted uh, on a server and downloaded by a user. How's well, that? It just sounds like porn. What, what kind of <laughs> porn are you watching? Do you download your porn? Yeah, I download it. You I can stream it. It's so much better. Better to stream it than download it. I want to make it. sure that I can save it for later. So I download it <laughs> and I have it in, then I have it burned onto cellophane so that I can. Yeah. Oh, wait, excuse me? <laughs> so I can. So I can Not cellophane? Oh, uh, well, you yeah. know, let me cover quickly for myself. No, I, I no, use cellophane no, because celluloid no. has been proven to be the worst way to, no. to show film. You know what? I don't know the word for anything. I don't know the word for anything well, anymore. On. I promised you did something recently that I would not let you live down. And I have okay. to bring it up because this will already be out by then. But we are on a Zoom and uh, the lovely editor, Mars, who works on the yep. ads for this show, had her background was from the video game Animal yes, Crossing. I and know. you in all sincerity went, wow, you have a beautiful living room. <laughs> and it was like pink wood, like a rabbit lived there. Yeah. 
I'm going to admit that Mars, who, by the way, shout out to Mars. She's very cool, does great work for the podcast. uh, And she had this background. Uh, In my defense, it was a slight, it was a small box. There were many boxes up. So it's not like I was watching it on a giant screen on this Zoom, but I complimented her on her lovely, creative, kind of cool Etsy styled room. And then it turned out she had to tell me that no, this is from, what is it from again? Animal, Animal, Crossing. Animal Crossing. And that- um, And by the way, just so you know, this this video game is not like a photorealistic video game. It's like kind of like the Smurfs. You know, no, it really doing? was if someone yeah, had put up as their background, the living room from the Flintstones. Yes. And I said, oh, I love your rock apartment. I think that's really beautiful. Um, so, oh, oh God, and uh, all of you laughed really hard because ha ha, yeah. Conan's an idiot um, who doesn't understand how things work. And okay, I guess we're done. Then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Also, you you never go you never go. Oh, I'm sorry, I I I was wrong. You were like, yeah. no, that living room looks very real, and everyone's like, it's a cartoon, and you're like, no, yeah. no, no. But from my perspective, like you just couldn't you go on to gaslight us. Yes, I yeah. I'm always always hoping that I can get myself out of trouble if I just keep talking. And so that is my (laughs) modus operandi. And so I just thought if I keep talking, I'll hit upon something (laughs) that will make you guys go, oh, I guess that kind of makes sense. And then I'm in the clear and then I get to shit on you guys for even thinking that I was wrong. 